How's it going? Um, hope everybody's doing well. Coming on for something a little different here, doing a contest entry video for Rob Walker, Let the Music Play. He's doing um, 100 subs contest. So I wanted to um, support him, congratulate him, try and crank this out. Um, if you don't know Rob Walker, he's you know, um, he's a model citizen here within the vinyl community. Really great guy, friendly with uh, everyone. Um, what you might not know about him, if you do know him, is um, his son is something of a professional thief. He is wanted by Interpol for what they call grand theft vinyl. This guy. Um, He's got a problem. Um, that's not completely true. He does actually um, steal a lot of Rob's records though. And that is, uh, that is a crime. I'm doing this at a different time of day, so it's a different thing, different light. Um, so he wanted us to show five records, which we have not shown before. And of course, there's a lot of different ways uh, you could go about that. I kind of went through a few different stages of what I did. Uh, you know, I actually already made a video that I decided not to use. That was just all my um, Robbie Williams and Take That records. Because he, he likes seeing um, idiot Americans showing uh, UK music. He didn't say it, he's Americans. <laughs> um, so in the end, I decided to show some UK records. Just So it's five UK records. I think it's bands I've shown before, but it's just different records. Um, you know, kind of in the early 90s, I started buying a lot of, or reading, a lot of like UK music magazines, uh, NME, that kind of thing. I actually had a few that were in a closet. You know, like things like Select, and you can see this stuff is it was expensive to get here in the United States. Wire, Uncut, Mojo was one of my favorites. Um, so for a long time, I was really more reading those kind of magazines. I found the, especially things, something like Mojo, the um, writing was so much better than, you know, any mainstream US magazine, in my opinion. All right, five records. If I, I, mean, I was gonna go more just to, like what Rob probably wanted to see. <laughs> Instead, it's just mainstream UK stuff. So this is PJ Harvey, Let Anyone Shake. This is from 2011. Words on the back of it, lyrics. I really like PJ Harvey. Um, I like this album a lot blah, blah, uh, you know, the words that maketh murder. The label. Next, uh, this is from 1992. This is the kind of a shoegaze dream pop thing. This is Lush's Spooky. Spooky? Yeah. This is from the box set, so it's on, I don't know if you'll be able to see, it doesn't matter. It's on like um, gray vinyl. And this insert. I like Lush quite a bit. 
this has a couple hits, whatever. Um, For Love, Super Blast, those were hits. There might be a couple others. Uh, hits in the UK, not, not hits in, in the States particularly. But anyway, like Lush. Uh, next this is a 12 inch single from Elastica for the song Line Up. This is from 1994. Has Line Up, Vaseline, Rock and Roll, and Annie. Can't remember if this came out before the first LP or not, but it's on Deceptive Records. Next, Suede, Dogman Star. This is also from 1994. This is a reissue from like 2013. Um, so the Suede's first record was very influenced by 70s glam rock. And then on this record, their second record, they kind of went anti that. There's still a few songs that have that um, going on, but a lot of it is more moody, long tracks. I think it's really good, but it's just definitely not for everyone. Um, I think in recent years, in the UK at least, it's been given uh, a reappraisal as being a, an amazing record. I liked it at the time. Um, yeah. Dogman Star. Black Final, uh, it's a double LP. Uh, like some of the, some sides only have two songs. Some of the songs are so long. Four, so this is the last one. This is from 1979, a band I've shown a number of times before, but I'm not showing this. This is XTC, XTC. This is, you know, gold stamp, promo, US copy. You know, has life, life Begins at the Hop, Making Plans for Nigel. Has the insert. comes with the seven inch that has limelight and then day in, day out and chain of command. And there's also a black vinyl. Ah, so that's um, it's pretty much what I've got for you here. I'm gonna leave a link for y'all to check out Rob. I will, uh, I probably will link to his contest video. Rob shows a lot of um, 80s and forward, maybe even you know late 70s and forward. Um, a lot of UK stuff that maybe you haven't heard of. He's turned me on to a number of different things, which I enjoy, um, especially in the 80s. 80s era, but also brand new stuff he's showing too. So definitely check him out. And um, I'll be back uh, with more typical crap uh, before too long. Thanks and have a good day.